Welcome back everybody. Sometimes I get so wrapped up in trying my best to make the so-called cool fishing videos where I'm shark fishing or exploring remote locations or sight fishing for redfish with drone footage, but there are instances where I just want to go out and tug on something and that's exactly what's going to happen in this video. I went to the local bait shop, grabbed some live shrimp and hit the water just to see what I could catch. Bait stealers, man. There we go. Ha ha, little sheep's head. That's cool, he's tiny. Tiny little sheep's head. Was not expecting him, probably only around 10 inches. There we have it, first fish on the shrimp, little sheep's head. If we can get one a little bigger, I'm definitely gonna keep them. That's really cool. Later, homie. Big guy's going down. Bait stealers. Oh, man. Bait stealers are brutal. I'm gonna save my big shrimp. I'm not gonna use any more of them here. I'm probably gonna use three more shrimp here and then move. All right. We're moving. Oh, it's shallow here. Really shallow. Oh, so glad that came off. That was a saltwater catfish. Probably a snapper. Nice. Come on, be 10 inches, please. Please be 10 inches. Ah, oh, I don't think he's quite there, man. He's really close though, he might be nine. Yep, nine inches, not quite there, buddy. There you go. All right, that was a nine incher. We need one more inch to keep him. Oh man, why did you, did you throw my shrimp back in the boat? There's no way you just did that. You are probably nine inches as well. Now you're even smaller than the other one. You're eight and a half inches. Dude, where are your big friends at? That's what I'm trying to figure out. That was bad cast, bad cast, bad cast. I want it right there. That's where I want it. Dude, they're all just too small by like a fraction of an inch. <laughs> Am I gonna waste all of my shrimp here just because I really, really, really want a good eating snapper? This is the one. We're gonna get a keeper here. Actually, I'm gonna try. <sighs> Not yet, this is the one, this is the one. Oh my gosh, I just slapped him so hard against that piling. It's not the one, it's not, quite frankly, not the one at all. Not even close to the one. Dude, dude, how deep is it under here? Oh, it's seven feet deep. I didn't think it was seven feet deep here, I thought it was four feet here. Significantly deeper under this dock. Well, we're done fishing here. Come on, please don't be the leader, please don't be the leader. It was the leader, ugh. Oh. Well, let's try some free lining.
There we go. What is this? It's a jack. <laughs> you're kidding. Oh, you're kidding. I thought I was gonna have something good. Well, it's the first jack of the trip. It's really good bait right there for a Goliath grouper, but holy cow. What's up, bud? Yep, you are spazzing. I'm sorry, man. Well, there's Mr. Grunter right there. A lot of sass, just a very mean animal. Later, homie. Look at this day, guys. Blue skies, a little bit of clouds to make a little shade every once in a while. Absolutely stunning. Slight breeze, not an annoying amount of wind, but enough to keep me cool. This is my dream weather right here. It's probably high 70s. The water is warm enough to swim in, but it's not like hot water. You still get refreshed. I think I love Fort Pierce, guys. I think All right, I'm gonna burn the rest of my shrimp on these mangrove snapper at the first dock we were fishing. Hopefully pull out a keeper or two from there. And then we're gonna rig up some artificials and just mess around on all of these mangrove trees. There's a really, really long stretch of mangrove line. Oh, excuse me, mangrove line. It's interesting because there's mangroves that are much shorter on the right side and then the big luscious mangroves are on the islands and on the left side. Not sure if they're different species of trees or if there's just a slightly different habitat, slightly different soil within 100 yards. And I just think it looks interesting, so we're gonna mess around in there. Thumb, that's a thumb. Uh, they're just small, man. Happens to me all the time with trout, flounder. They love to tease me. Bad cast. Good cast. That's what we want. That's what we like seeing. That is a tiny one. That one's the smallest one. He's probably not even eight, maybe seven, seven and a half. All right, we got one. Oh, it's a sheep's head. <laughs> What's up? It's a really dark sheep's head. That might be the darkest sheep that I've ever seen. Different species. I'll turn this camera on. Hopefully the condensation's not bad. This is such a gorgeous sheep's head right here. It's not white and black, it's brown and silver. It's really interesting. Um, I've never seen a sheep's head with this coloration before. That's too cool. There he goes. There we go. Oh, it's a barracuda, dude. What the heck? He's gonna break off, he's gonna break off. He's got it, there's no way he uh, stays on here. There's no way. There's no way you stay on, dude. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Dude. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you're, oh shoot. No way, he's on the, there we go. Are you just hooked perfectly? <laughs> he is hooked perfectly. All right, that is something. Well, not the targeted species, thought this dude was gonna be a little snook when he bit it, but Somehow he stayed on, didn't get the leader in his mouth to snip it with those chompers right there. I'll take these grips off to give you guys a better peek at these chompers that this guy's rocking. Look at that thing, man. 
Oh, don't want to get on that side of this thing. All right, we'll give you a good revival. Or not. <laughs> he is good to go.